and trivia. Before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. Um, and if you got any comments on it, what you want to add or what you think should be taken out, let me know down in the comments. Uh, share these if you would. I appreciate it. And we say we just dive right in. Today's uh, episode is episode 15 on uh, first season, Those Gossiping Men. Um, dive right in here. Uh, when Andy and Barney are in the drugstore talking to Aunt B, there is a, another TV guide on the shelf behind Andy with Lucille Ball's picture on it. As I told you uh, yesterday, uh, Lucille Ball's company, Desi Lou, produces the show. Um, thing is, though, is the TV guide was from 1954, which is a few years earlier than this episode. Um, this episode marks Jonathan Hoyle's last appearance as the funeral director for Bill Monroe. I feel sorry for him, he really missed out. Um, in the epilogue scene, Andy is still visibly annoyed about the misunderstanding about the shoe salesman, and he makes comments about it. Um, then Barney shows up with Andy's shoe order. Earlier in the episode, the salesman said it would take about 10 days to get the shoes. So, apparently, Andy was still mad for like 10 days over this. So, crazy, right? Uh, a couple more things here. Um, the map behind Andy's desk uh, is upside is, is the up, upside down maps of uh, Idaho and Nevada in this episode. There's been, there was others as well uh, in other episodes. And in this one, Floyd has a son, Norman. Uh, I think he's uh, acknowledged twice, and then after that, Floyd has no son. As I say, this show doesn't really go for the history uh, that never did uh, follow a history uh, because they didn't think it would last that long. They didn't think they would. Uh, boy, was they wrong. And But it makes for good conversation, right? People catch little things. That's all I got for you today, and I'm glad you spent the, this little bit of time with me. And don't forget to check out the trivia question on the Facebook page. Uh, share and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a great day, and God bless.